Well, who's paying the bills on this one? Coben. Oh, man. Why we gotta keep working for this guy? His money. <laughs> DXVK is a translation layer primarily used to run PC games on Linux. However, it has benefits to Windows as well, depending on which games you're playing. And in this video, I will focus on Ubisoft titles, which often have performance issues on modern systems. Splinter Cell Conviction is sadly not one of them. It uses a 32-bit kernel and runs with the DX9 renderer. It gains no performance from DXVK, as you can see in this demonstration. But like I said, its main benefit is so that Linux gamers can play these games. But I have found two Ubisoft titles that do benefit in a major way. So let's have a look, shall we? I played Assassin's Creed Origins on my older PC, so I was generally pleased with performance. The frame rate hung around the 70s, which is perfectly fine. However, Things changed once I was out in the open world. Frames dropped even more when there were lots of particle effects. Bear in mind I was playing with maxed out graphics at 1080p. If I wanted, I could have locked the frame rate to 30, but 60 is always preferable with a game like Origins. Let's run the camel scene again, this time with a normal mode compared against DXVK. It's not uncommon to have double the frame rate, and I was impressed by the overall performance. In this case, DXVK interprets direct X11 draw calls and converts them to Vulkan. This is what makes these games compatible with Linux. Far Cry 5 is another Ubisoft game that gets a boost using DXVK. Normally it suffers frame drops when there's lots of action on screen. The rule of thumb seems to be that frames double when DXVK is installed. This happens during quiet moments and when there's loud moments. Bear in mind, if DXVK is installed, you will get a message in the top corner of your screen warning you that your graphics adapter is out of date. To disable the message, simply press Shift and F2. When the overlay is enabled, close the message. It will never bother you again. Also, it's not recommended using DXVK when playing co-op. Far Cry 5 may think it's a cheat engine running in the background. And this is true for any game that has multiplayer features.